This tutorial reviews the Denture Comfort technique designed for both Dentata Sinew and Atlas implants. Denture Comfort is a simple and predictable technique. It's an ideal solution for patients with new or existing dentures. It's intended for long-term use to effectively retain and stabilize dentures, and it's the only system on the market today that eliminates typical hardware associated with overdentures. This tutorial will show you how to retain a denture with no O-rings, no housings, and no adhesives. When fabricating a new denture, your laboratory can prepare the denture for this technique. When starting with an existing denture, be sure to verify the fit, checking the borders and occlusion. Sometimes a hard reline will be necessary to ensure a proper fit. The denture comfort technique is simple, and with some practice, it will take approximately 20 minutes to retrofit the denture. To ensure success, it's important to pay particular attention to three key points. First, the denture must seat passively over the implants. If there's any interference, this can cause prosthetic overload and lead to implant failure. Second, the preparation of the seam line, and in particular, the angulation of the burr are critical. This is what allows the tough link material to create a hermetic seal within the denture base. When properly prepared, the liner will stay securely in place during insertion and removal of the denture. This also prevents water, bacteria, and food particles from collecting under the liner. And third, the tuffling material should only be one millimeter in thickness. Therefore, only one millimeter of denture acrylic is removed. In the area of the implants, an additional four millimeters is removed to make a pocket around the three millimeter head. To prepare the denture, a marking pen is used to delineate the areas to be relieved. You want to stay two millimeters from the edge of the flange and extend to the posterior, just short of the retromolar pad, so that you still retain a hard stop. It's best to round the extension so the liner cannot disengage on its own. You want to avoid sharp edges so the silicone can flow easily. This will help avoid air bubbles in the liner. All of the denture preparation instruments are depth gauged to create a one millimeter trough. So you want to take the instruments to their shank with light pressure to ensure the trough is prepared to the right depth. Using the half round denture preparation instrument, create an undercut around the entire periphery of the delineation, including the distal extension. The instrument should be angled 45 degrees to the opposite flange and taken to the shank to ensure the one millimeter thickness that will lock the liner in position. The easiest way to check the undercut is to run a wax spatula up the sides. The spatula should get caught in the undercut. If it's not, just go back around and make the undercut deeper. The groove denture preparation instrument is used to create a one millimeter depth groove that travels buccal lingually on the intaglio surface. These are not for retention, but act as a depth guide and ensure an even, uniform surface. Remember, we want the base to be as smooth as possible to make it easier for the tough link silicone to flow. Do take caution that you do not remove the undercut we just created. And if you do obliterate part of it, it's okay. Just go back a step and redefine that area with the half round burr. Using the four millimeter round denture preparation instrument, Remove the grooves so that the area is smooth and the relieved space is one millimeter deep. In the patient's mouth, place the orange marking caps over the implant heads. Then apply a pressure indicated paste over and around the caps to transfer the markings to the denture. If you rock the denture a bit, you'll catch the better record. Using the four millimeter round denture preparation instrument, hollow out the four marked areas to a four millimeter depth. That's three quarters of the burr height because we already removed one millimeter in the previous steps. Remember, these burrs are side cutting, so it's best to start with the burr on its side, then bring it upright to depth. Remove the plastic caps and try the denture in the patient's mouth. If the denture binds or does not seat passively, reapply the caps and paste and relieve the denture further. Once it's seating passively, clean the denture of all debris and then dispense tough link into the relief portion of the denture base first into the openings provided for the implants, and then along the encasement seam. Then we like to put a little extra to cover the heads of the implants with a tough link to prevent air bubbles. For this technique, it's better to overfill because you cannot add to the material. Place the denture over the patient's implants from the posterior aspect. 
Press downward and anteriorly. Have the patient close tightly in centric position and hold for about five to seven minutes. When the silicone is set, remove the denture from the mouth. Carefully remove the silicone liner from the denture base. Trim the flash with a scissor along the well-delineated seam line. Then reinsert the liner into the prepared denture. There should be no edge of the undercut protruding. Depending on variable conditions, the tough link silicone should maintain its resiliency for 18 to 24 months. Liners can be replaced quickly without preparation or adjustment in the denture base. This minimally invasive technique is easy to learn and implement and will change the lives of your patients. For more information, call Dentatus at 800-323-3136.